button. By the time you present the numbers, you should assume your prospect is about to turn into a customer. Confidence and enthusiasm are both traits of champion sales consultants. Remember, if you're presenting the numbers, you're closing, not just objection hunting. The next section is all about the little things that make a big difference. Those little things are words that make up your sales language. Some may feel this is nitpicking and they would be correct. However, the difference between the selling superstars and the wannabes often are the little things the superstars know to do than discipline themselves to do. When you bring the offer to purchase to your prospect, return with a confident smile. Let the customer know you've got a great opportunity. But before you reveal the numbers, keep them out of sight. Um, Roger, I thought it was really smart on Eric's part today to have you guys fold the paper as a reminder. Yeah. Okay? Um, look, I was a salesman, and I was as short-cutting a salesperson as any, short, as any salesperson in the history of the automobile business. I thought I knew it all. And the managers that got the most out of me were, were the ones that A, reminded me to do the little things and B, disciplined the ever-living shit out of me if I didn't do them, okay? I had to be managed with a two by four. But those that managed me with a two by four got the most out of me. I had a manager put me up against a wall with his arm around my neck. It's probably illegal nowadays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But you know what? I, I thank that guy to this minute for helping me, you know, helping me learn how to make a living for the rest of my life. A manager can be one of two things to you. They can be good to you or they can be good for you. Okay? Hope that you've got managers like Roger and Ryan and um, Eric and now uh, Randy. Hope that they're hard on you. The harder they are on you, the better off you will be. Make no mistake about that. None of them are jerks. Now, there, there's, if, if a manager's an asshole, then I've got no use for he or she. But if they're tough, I admire them. And almost without fail, their sales teams are more stable. Um, this is a terrifically stable sales team. Travell? I've been knowing you since the first moment I walked on this lot, right? Charles, the same way. Albert, you weren't here when I got here, but you were no. uh, you were uh, COVID? COVID, yeah. Yeah, but you've been here. Um, Roland, um, Randy, Jackie's new, Josh is new. Who else? Rudy. Rudy's been here since I've, since I've been coming here. Scotty. Scotty's been here since I've been coming here. So it's a, this is a credit to the culture of the organization and the management team. Like I've, you, I've told you the horror stories of some of the places I go. 